Almost six months after Christmas, a Green Country girl is still waiting for her present. They called 2 News problem solver Justin Wilfon to see if he could help find it. Well, what he found was a lesson for anyone who orders a big ticket purchase delivered to their front door. The Baker family hoping for Christmas in June after their daughter's present never came in December. It's, it's really sickening and, and knowing that this young girl don't even have a Christmas present. The Bakers ordered two TVs for gifts, but the family claims FedEx delivered them to the wrong place. The Bakers found this TV on a neighbor's porch, but say the other is still missing. Numerous calls to FedEx, uh, they basically won't talk to us because we're not the shipper. So the problem solvers called FedEx. In a statement, FedEx claimed they took the TV to the right place. All of our customers' packages are important to us, and FedEx follows the delivery instructions provided by the shipper. We delivered this package and released it according to the shipper's instructions. So I called the company that shipped the TV, Hyper Microsystems. They provided this shipping receipt, which clearly shows they mailed it to the correct address. A company spokeswoman also told me this about the lost TV. We filed a claim with FedEx and it was denied. We then appealed it and were denied again. I took that information back to FedEx and they told me this. Because the shipper didn't request a signature and because the package was delivered to the correct address, the shipper's claims were denied. Yeah, it kind of ticks me off because any business should, you know, should try to compensate the, the consumer. In the end, this wall will stay bare. Neither Hyper Microsystems or FedEx will take responsibility for the TV going missing. Hyper also admits they didn't buy insurance for the lost shipment, something that likely could have prevented the baker's lost Christmas. I mean, it's my daughter's Christmas present. I mean, it's her money that she had for Christmas, and so it's basically she has no Christmas. Justin Wilfon, 2 News, works for you.